I'm back with a new vlog. So I haven't vlogged in a really long time and I actually did already film this clip and I was a big baby in it. I cried too much and I decided let's delete that. We're not doing the crying thing on camera right now. <laughs> um, as you guys know, if you follow me on Twitter, um, my <laughs> my mental health has just been in the literal gutter, like genuinely just so bad. Um, and it's been really hard to deal with and I don't really know exactly how to talk about it because I don't want to like get too personal because I feel like that can get a little bit uncomfortable pretty quickly as you know the example is me having already filmed this clip and cried way too much so um I don't want to like you know put that on you guys I don't want to like you know whatever <laughs> um but I just my mental health is just so bad um I don't know if you guys know sometimes I talk about it sometimes I don't I suffer from anxiety and depression so it just you know gets really bad sometimes so um and I thought I was doing pretty well during this quarantine and during like the pandemic and stuff and I just like I haven't I've just kind of like been not very honest with myself and I've been kind of brushing a lot of things under the rug and not really dealing with a lot of stuff and just kind of being like I'm fine I'm fine like don't worry about it don't think about it and that only works for so long until I have to like actually address it um and another thing I just wanted to talk about really quickly is that because of my mental health just like tanking so badly um to like where I can't get out of bed I like literally can't do anything at all all day except for like one thing <laughs> and I've had to be really honest with myself I've had to be really honest with my co-host from the Latinx book bingo readathon and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to be a co-host this year which is so heartbreaking and I just I just really needed to take this time for myself I basically you know told them you know how I've been feeling lately and what's been going on and thankfully they were really understanding about it of course you know like I love them so much they're so great and I know that the readathon is going to go just fine without me so um, I'm really excited for it though I'm really excited to keep promoting it and I really really hope that you guys still like join in and like read a bunch of Latinx books because I think it's so important and I'm still gonna be reading my TBR for the Latinx book bingo readathon and I'm making my video soon hopefully for the TBR that I'm going to be making and I'm really excited about it I think it's gonna be great and I have so many books that I'm really excited for this tripod's actually on my TBR for the Latinx book bingo readathon I have Mexican Gothic I have Incendiary I have Don't Date Rosa Santos I have so many books right here and I'm so excited to show them all to you guys um so yeah like I'm really really sad and disappointed in myself that I won't be able to do it but I knew it was the right decision you know I just I really really need to take this time especially this month for myself and that wasn't going to be able to happen if like my anxiety was like through the roof and um it's just it wasn't going to happen so um I did want to show you guys two of the books that I was sent recently. My very good friend Margaret, she sent me two books for my wish list, which is so 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 sweet and I like I'm so grateful and I'm so excited for them. And I'm going to link her down below in the description. So the first book that she sent me was Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis, and I am so flipping excited about this book. Um, I don't really know too much about it, but I feel like everything I've heard about it has been something that I might enjoy. Um, for some reason, this kind of gives me the vibes of like Caraval, 
of the Night Circus of the Crown's game. I don't know if I'm completely off in that, but it just gives me those vibes. I'm pretty sure that this is kind of inspired by the Phantom of the Opera. And also look at these end pages, they're so beautiful. And just the inside of it is gorgeous, like just so beautiful, I love it so much. So yeah, I'm really excited and I hope that I can get to this soon. And then the second book that she sent to me was um, Queen's Shadow by E.K. Johnston. And this is a Padme book, and as you guys know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I love Star Wars. I have since I was a little girl. I was basically raised on Star Wars, and Padme was always my favorite character. I had posters of her up on my wall. I also had posters of Anakin up on my wall. How no one knew that I was bisexual from like the very beginning is so beyond me, but it's just like, you know, I love them. They're my faves, but I love Padme so much. I'm so excited to read this book and kind of like get to know more about her and I don't know I've heard really good things about this book and I'm just so excited to get to it and I really hope that I like it as much as I like Leia Princess of Alderaan which I loved oh my gosh that book is so good if you like haven't read it read it listen to the audiobook the audiobook is so beautiful for that book um so I'm really excited to read this one <laughs> so yeah I just kind of wanted to give that <laughs> So yeah, I just kind of wanted to give that update and kind of talk about how I've been feeling lately because, you know, I did talk about it a little bit on Twitter and I just kind of wanted to iterate that here and make sure that like everybody kind of got the message. I didn't talk about it on Instagram because I just like didn't feel comfortable talking about it there. You know, I've, a lot of people who are like family and like I'm not super close to follow me on Instagram and I just didn't really want to like put that all out there on that platform so I felt a lot more comfortable talking about it on Twitter and I wanted to take a break from Twitter um, I kind of have been taking a break from Instagram honestly I haven't posted since like August 20 something and I just like haven't felt the need to post on there so yeah um, I just felt more comfortable talking about it on Twitter um, but I haven't really been reading lately I have started Serpent and Dove, Serpent and Dove. I have started Blood and Honey by Shelby Mahurin and I'm really liking it, but that's about all I've read for the past week and a half. Um, so it's just been, it just hasn't happened. <laughs> um, I actually have been reading a lot. It just hasn't been actual books. Like I've started, um, I think I talked about this in another vlog where um, me and one of my best friends from my role playing days on Tumblr, um, we've started to role play together just like just the two of us and it's been so much fun because we have three ships from our old role play group that we've decided to bring back and like kind of continue and finish up their stories which is so much fun I'm having a literal blast with her and it's been really the only good thing that's happened to me lately <laughs> and the only thing that I've been looking forward to every day and um, so it's just been really fun to kind of get to do with her and like you know I've been really missing role playing so much I was like thinking of bringing back my group but really I don't know if anybody would be interested in doing it and I definitely know that the people that were in the group before are not interested um and really it's just the two of us and we were co-admins so i'm not surprised <laughs> but um but yeah so it's just like that's just what we've been doing lately and you know so what i've been doing has been i've been reading old threads from back when like the group was actually together and so that's just really been taking up my time like I've been reading hundreds and hundreds of pages of threads so it almost feels like I've read like 10 different novels but it's just like been my own writing with somebody else and um just kind of like catching up on things and trying to like jog my memory on certain things it's really like I have such a bad memory so even if I've written something I will not remember what I wrote um <laughs> so it's been fun doing that you know kind of getting to revisit these characters that I love and that I spent so much time on literally years creating and you know writing for and I just love them so much and I don't like I don't know if you guys know what my roleplay group is about I think I've mentioned it 
a couple of times. My roleplay group was on Tumblr and we were a Disney roleplay group. I created the group. I created, I wrote literally hundreds of bios. I wrote out the entire plot. I wrote out the backstory. I wrote out all the rules and I even created a map of the palace that it was set in. And basically it was a roleplay group about second generation um, characters of canon Disney characters, you know what I mean? I don't know if that's probably really confusing, but basically it was just second generation characters and they were all original characters except for three. <laughs> the only three that weren't original or maybe there was three other ones. I keep, oh wait, <laughs> there were six non-original characters, but three of them were from the Aristocats. That's Berlius, Toulouse, and Marie. And then we have three from Lady and the Tramp 2, which I cannot, <laughs> and then we had three from Lady and the Tramp 2, which I cannot remember their names, Colette, oh maybe four. Colette is one of the triplets. There's another triplet, there's another triplet, and then Scamp? say is the other character's name um it's it would take literally too long for me to explain this um roleplay group but what we've been doing me and my friend Alora, we've been taking three each of our characters and you know just kind of like playing out the ships that we had for them so that's been really nice it's been really fun you know it's been something that i've enjoyed <laughs> surprisingly um but I, I love it I love getting to play my original characters I love getting to like you know we're finally getting them engaged we're getting them like babies and stuff and so it's so much fun and I always love writing engagements and babies and weddings and stuff like that it's always so much fun and like so fluffy and so cute so um that's just been, you know basically taking up all my time and I really do want to get back to reading Blood and Honey though because it was like starting off really good so I'm a little nervous because it is so good in the beginning and I'm like oh no a lot of people don't like this book so I'm a little nervous but it's okay um and yeah that's like basically everything that I wanted to talk about um just to kind of start off this vlog I'm going to try to edit it down a lot I probably don't need to talk about my roleplay group all that much because it's probably not very interesting <laughs> which I don't blame anybody for like anybody who's not part of tumblr roleplay like could not care less like at all and I don't blame them so um yeah I just kind of wanted to give an update I kind of wanted to explain myself a little bit um and do it without crying <laughs> because I am I am a crier if you know me I cry really easily so I just didn't want that to be part of my video um but yeah you know i that's about it and i'll talk to you guys later hopefully with an update on blood and honey <laughs> So today is the first day of the Latinx Book Bingo Readathon. I really want to vlog and hopefully, you know, this will work out. I don't know how much I'll vlog. Maybe it'll be weekly. Maybe it'll just be like a whole cumul cumul cumulative. How come I can't say that word? Maybe it'll be a whole cumulative <laughs> vlog. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to work, but it is probably about midnight now. Um, I didn't do anything today except for I did my laundry and I actually did do the dishes. So I guess I did do some things today, but just I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be. I also took a shower, so I guess I did three things. <laughs> but before I go to bed, <laughs> I looked crazy right there. But before I go to bed, I definitely want to read a little bit. And I'm currently reading Don't Date Rosa Santos by Nina Moreno. And I am really loving it. I am currently... 45 pages into it so I'm not too far into it but I'm really liking it so far I'm liking the probable main love interest of the story so far he's cute so we're gonna see how this goes I haven't really read like a fluffy contemporary in a little while so I'm really excited to get to this one and yeah we'll see how it goes I will let you guys know okay so 
I am currently reading Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas and I decided just to pick this one up because I was sitting at my desk, it was sitting right on my desk and I was just like you know what I'm right here I might as well just start it and I did and I'm loving it I'm not very far into it honestly <laughs> I'm only like seven pages into it so um definitely not very far but I'm really liking it and I don't know and I love the cover it's so cute look at it I bet it'll focus there you go Look at how beautiful that cover is. Also, I currently have my windows open, so sorry if it sounds a little noisy. And also, I have been trying to clean out my um, dresser and also my closet, so it's a little bit messy in the background. Sorry about that. But yeah, I just really needed to get a lot of my clothes like sorted. So um, I actually did kind of want to show you guys some of the things I've gotten recently. Um, some things have just been sent to me, other things I've bought. Um, I can't remember why I bought these. <laughs> Honestly, I just can't remember. But I bought tabs for like books and stuff. Also, don't mind my um, band-aids. But um, I bought tabs. I don't remember why. I think I wanted to tab something. I don't remember what it was though. I like, I genuinely can't remember. I think it might have been because I want to tab my books when I reread the Throne of Glass series that might have been it um it might be for rereads I think I I can't be I can't be certain honestly I bought these at like two o'clock in the morning so <laughs> that was a purchase that a different Allie made um and then I also bought this book to read possibly during this Latinx book bingo readathon. I'm not totally sure if I'll get to it, but as you guys know, on, if you follow me on Twitter, um, I have been trying to find Latinx books that are similar in nature to Truly Devious and A Study in Charlotte. It has been very unsuccessful. I will just say that it's been unsuccessful, unfortunately. There's just not enough of a variety of Latinx books that have been published for me to be able to find any of like my random whim sort of books. I don't know if you guys feel this way sometimes, but like randomly I'll just get this urge to be like, I really want to read this specific kind of book. Like recently I really wanted to read a book similar to like Phantom of the Opera, similar to Mamma Mia, similar to Beetle. You know what I mean? Like there are certain times where I'm just like, I really want to read a book that's like Frozen or I really want to read a book that gives me like folklore vibes or I really, you know, whatever like random sort of whim that comes to my mind. And I'm just like, I want to read a book that's similar to this. That was me like yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, I really, really want to read a book that's Latinx but also is like Truly Devious or A Study in Charlotte or whatever. Couldn't find it. However, I was able to find this book and it's nothing like Truly Devious or A Study in Charlotte. However, <laughs> I mentioned this in another vlog but it's the vlog is actually going to come out after this one I think or it might not even come out. Maybe, you know what? I think I might actually just add that clip into this vlog so you get some context. But from that earlier clip, I have been watching 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> actually, I haven't been watching it anymore because I finished it, um, but I really like 13 Reasons Why. And so I was like, you know what? I really want to read a book like that, but the book is canceled. We do not like that book. We do not like that author. Mm -mm. Um, and I've never read 13 Reasons Why. I've only seen the show. So I was looking through like Latinx books trying to find my A Study in Charlotte, trying to find my Truly Devious, and I couldn't. However, I found this book. It's Latinx and it's called A Breath Too Late by Rocky Callan. And this book gave me 13 Reasons Why vibes. It's I think it's told in letters and so it's kind of like if you've ever read um letters to the dead i read that a while ago like i think maybe five or six years ago and i loved it but that book is about a girl writing to dead famous people this book is about a girl who has committed suicide and she I think, right? Okay, hold on. Wait, let me see. <laughs> I might be wrong. I was about to say I think it's a about a girl who's 
committed suicide and she's writing letters to her family but that might be wrong but that's kind of why it gave me 13 reasons why vibes okay it says 17 year old ellie had no hope left yet the day after she dies by suicide she finds herself in the midst of an out-of-body experience she's a spectator swaying between past and present retracing the events that unfolded prior to her death but there are gaps in her memory Broken fragments, Ellie is desperate to reassemble. There's her mother, a songbird who wanted to break free from her oppressive cage. The boy, made of brush strokes and goofy smiles who brought color into a gray world. Her brooding father, with his sad puppy eyes and clenched fists. And Ellie's determined to find out why a piece of her was left behind. Told in epistolary style, okay, I think I got that word right. This deeply moving novel sensitively examines the beautiful and terrible moments that make up a life and the possibilities that live in even the darkest places. Perfect for fans of the critically acclaimed speak, I'll give you the sun and if I stay. This also kind of reminds me of um, The Lovely Bones. <laughs> but The Lovely Bones is about a girl who's been murdered, but this one's about a girl who committed suicide. Similar ideas though, because like in The Lovely Bones, she comes back in like sort of like a ghost out of body experience form and finds out like a bunch of different things. Anyway, I think this kind of does feel like 13 Reasons Why because like in the show, Hannah comes back as kind of like a ghost, but it's only for Clay really. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you've ever seen that show, but, <laughs> but yeah, this kind of reminds me of it. So I was like, ooh, another one of my um, recent uh, obsessions can be like in book form. And then I'll tell you guys about some of the other books that I've bought recently. These ones are kind of a mix between some I bought from Barnes and Noble, other ones I had to order because they weren't out yet. Um, I got The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This one is similar to Knives Out. I just recently watched Knives Out for the first time like a couple weeks ago. I loved it. Oh my god, obsessed. So when I saw this book, I was like, it doesn't really seem like a book that I would enjoy. However, I loved Knives Out and that was kind of surprising, so maybe I'll like it. So I bought this one at Barnes & Noble, really excited. And then I picked up a book that I've been wanting to read for like actual years and I just never picked it up and now I'm just like, I should pick it up and I should read it. It's A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness and I wanted to pick this up a couple of years ago when I saw it at a used bookstore and then I didn't and I regretted it ever since. So unfortunately I had to buy it new because I've like literally ever since then I have tried every used book <laughs> I have tried every used bookstore, I have tried every book sale, every like library book sale, ev like everything and I've not been able to find it ever since. So I was like you know what it's not in the cards for me I just have to buy it new and I'm really excited to read it. I think I'm going to like it. I've heard good things about it. Um, I did look inside and the text is really small, so I'm nervous, but I think I'll really enjoy it. I'm really, really, really excited to read this book. And then the whole reason I went to Barnes & Noble was to pick up Ironheart by Nina Varela. And this is the sequel to Cryer's War. I loved Cryer's War so much. Um, I did like a whole one day vlog video whatever uh, reading it and I just about died it was amazing so I'm really excited to read this one I don't think I'll do a read in one day video unless you guys liked that like I was actually just recently looking at that video and like surprisingly has pretty high views in comparison to my other videos so I was like hmm, maybe you guys actually did enjoy it I don't know I can always do that but I feel like that might be weird for like a second book in the series because it's gonna be more spoilery so I don't know we'll see but I'm really really excited for this book and then I got this one in the mail this one just recently came out and this is Surrender Your Sons by Adam Sass and I am pumped for this book this is another one that I didn't think I would like be interested in but I read like the first couple of pages of it and I was like Ooh, this is really funny um, and I really liked the tone and I think that this is going to be a really 
interesting kind of book i know it's like a kind of like a thriller oh my god i don't want to say kind of i know that it's like a thriller i don't want to say like i'm pretty sure it's a thriller and i know that it's set in a conversion camp so that's really interesting i've never read anything like this before so we're branching out we're going to try something new i'm really excited <laughs> okay so that's just basically all of my updates i'm going to oops I just like slammed my computer um those are all my updates i'm gonna keep reading cemetery boys also i'm using my um super cash from old navy as my bookmark we love that anyway so we're going to get to reading this book this one i kind of um i kind of want to read this book next i don't know i'm still in the middle of don't date rosa santos which i've been reading more at night so these might be my day books um, this one's also really short. It's like really, really short. It's under 300 pages. So um, this will probably be a really, really fast read. I'm so excited for this book though. But look at this cover. It's beautiful. I love the purples and the pinks. So pretty. I'm just good at caring too much. I'm just good at caring too much Is it too much to ask that you be all mine? I never was good at sharing I'm just good at caring too much Okay, so I am halfway through Cemetery Boys. I think I'm going to try to finish it tonight. I don't know. I haven't read a single book this month. Not one book. I've started many books, but I have not finished any. So it is currently nine o'clock, which means that I still have a couple more hours that I can stay up and it's not going to be a big deal. So. I am halfway through this book. I am loving it so much. I've only tabbed a little bit if you can see. As you can see, I've only tabbed a little bit of it. So it hasn't really been like a super like tabby book, <laughs> if that makes any sense, but I am really, really loving it. It's so cute. I love Yadriel so much. Like he is adorable he's a cancer which we love and then the other boy julian he is a scorpio and i am just i just love when like at, there's at least one scorpio in a ship i know scorpios are so hated and i like don't like them either <laughs> i grew up with a mom who like hates scorpios <laughs> but for some reason i'm so drawn to like a scorpio character i think they're so interesting and I don't know. I just love it. Also, this is kind of reminding me of a ship that I play with my uh, Tumblr roleplay partner. Just saying. <laughs> but yeah, this book is so cute. I'm loving it. And nothing like necessarily super exciting has been happening. It's not like a really like high stakes, fast paced book. And not a lot happens, at least in the first half. But for, I think it's just the characters. I just love the characters and I love the way that they interact with each other. And there's just some really good like moments in this book that make it really cute and I'm loving it. And I don't know, there's just like, I'm really enjoying it. I'm liking just like where the book is going. And I don't want to give it like too many spoilers because I feel like a lot of my feelings on this book are like super spoilery and are just kind of like, I would just give away a lot of the book. But it's cute i'm loving it and there's so many cute just like little conversations like and the dialogue in this book is so realistic which i feel like sometimes YA authors like don't really know how teens actually talk and this book feels like the author knows how teens talk i have younger siblings and they're both teenagers well actually just one's a teenager now the other one turned 20 this year so oh my gosh but i have two younger siblings and so i'm around teenagers a lot and this is how they talk i'm really enjoying it and just the dialogue is amazing 
and the characterization is amazing they're all so different they're also like very distinct and I also really like the descriptions in this book like it has really good character descriptions like actual like physical descriptions and <laughs> it's just like totally spot on I'm loving it so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling about this book and go back to reading it I'm so enjoying it it's so cute and hopefully I will finish it tonight my skin is so dry today seriously actually I got up like at a kind of normal time today I got up at like 9 in the morning instead of like 10 so we're doing a little bit better um and then I also did the dishes today which is good did them before they piled up too much and then we got pizza so we have pizza and ever since I think like so I woke up at 9 and then I ended up starting an audiobook at 10 and that was Dark and Deepest Red by Anna Marie McLemore and I finished that audiobook at around 2.30 ish so it only took me a couple of hours to finish. I loved it. I gave it a five out of five stars. Oh my gosh. And also the first book that I finished this month, like, oh my goodness. This book is the book of my heart. I am in love with this story. Like I tweeted about it a little bit on Twitter and I was like, I want to immediately restart this book and listen to it again. And I even put it on my wish list just so I can be like, maybe I'll buy it for myself later. I don't know. Um, I, mean, I just want to buy it so I can annotate it and like reread it and love it and oh, it was so good. So basically it's kind of like a fairy tale retelling and also kind of a historical fiction also. So basically it's a fairy tale retelling of The Red Shoes by Hans Christian Andersen and it's also like a historical fiction of, um, I'm gonna have to see how this is spelled, Strasbourg. Strasbourg, France, but back then it was part of the Holy Roman Empire and basically what happened is that randomly in the 16th century in Strasbourg there was this like outbreak of dancing and people danced for days. So it was basically just this like random thing and it was really weird and I've always been super fascinated by this so it was really cool to read uh, Dark and Deepest Red. I think that they did such a good job at like mixing together the historical aspects and also the fairy tale retelling parts. It just works so well and I also really like that it has kind of like a dual timeline going on where there's a historical timeline and there's also a modern timeline. Sorry about the noise in the background like I have been saying. In every single vlog I make, my windows are open. It's hot today. I'm also wearing a dress because it's so hot today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like have realized now reading this book and also The Secret Life of Addie LaRue that I really, really enjoy books that have a historical timeline and a modern timeline going on kind of at the same time or just kind of being told at the same time. Um, I really enjoy that. I really, really enjoy that. And I also really liked the trans rep in this book. I thought it was really well done. The love interest in the historical timeline is trans and he was just so... I loved him. Also, there are dogs barking now. My... <laughs> I swear, my neighborhood is so loud like so loud for no reason <laughs> anyway we are going to continue reading cemetery boys i am currently on page 200 so i have a little over 100 pages left of this book i was trying to tab it up but there's not really a lot to tab in my opinion so i mean i'll keep doing it i have the tabs right here but there's not a lot to tab in this book but i am really enjoying it i think it's really good the characters i love them and I'm just ready to jump back into the story. So after we finish this book, I think I'm going to try to finish Don't Date Rosa Santos. We'll see how far I can get into that book. Um, and if I don't finish it today, I'll finish it tomorrow. And then I'm thinking that after I finish Don't Date Rosa Santos, I'm going to start Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know. It's gonna be a whole journey. Also, I am drinking a pumpkin spice latte and we are listening to some music. I'm actually currently listening to the album uh, Bible Belt by Diane Birch. I love Diane Birch. She's one of my favorites. I saw her in concert 
back in like 2009-ish, 2010. I can't remember if I was 14 or 15, but when I went to go see Nick Jonas and the administration in concert, she opened up for them and I got to meet her. I bought her album that day. I have been in love with her ever since. So she's a queen. We love her music. Anyway, that's what we're listening to while we read Cemetery Boys. I was listening to my um, Ruthless Gods playlist and that was doing really well, but then I just switched over to Diane Birch because I was just in a mood. <laughs> no more rambling and we are going to get back into reading Cemetery Boys. Okay, so I look like, why is there like such a huge shadow? I guess it's because of my bangs. Okay, well, whatever. I, <laughs> so I finished Cemetery Boys and I'm trying to figure out what the rating is going to be for this book. Is it gonna be a five star? Is it gonna be a four star? My, like I'm leaning towards four stars. But then like a part of me is also like, I kind of want to give it five stars. Mm. I feel like it's definitely more of a four star book because I did read Dark and Deepest Red by Anna Marie McLemore and I gave that five stars. Like that was an easy five star read. And I feel like in comparison, like did I like this book as much as I liked Dark and Deepest Red? No. So I think we're gonna have to go with a four star, but I did really love it. I loved the ending, like how everything got resolved. I loved like the climax of the book. I loved like the entire last half of the book was so good. Even the first half of the book was really good. So it's not like, oh, one half was better than the other. It was just like, they were both really good in their own different ways. And I really liked it. So. I'm so glad that I bought this book. I love it. Oh, such a good book, but definitely four stars, which is not a bad rating at all. So I don't know why I'm like all like, uh, you know. So yeah, so we are done. So we're done with this book, which means that I get to continue reading Don't Date Rosa Santos. I am currently um, 44 pages into this book. For some reason, these pages are so thick. Like, I was like, it's very weird. But 44 pages into this, I don't think I'll finish this tonight at all. Like, it's just not possible. So, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna be possible. It's like almost 300 pages. So, we'll probably just read a little bit more of this tonight. And then I will continue reading it tomorrow. So that's probably what's gonna happen. I read two books today, which is really, really exciting, especially since I haven't read anything at all this month and it's already the 19th. 
So hopefully this will be my next book that I finish tomorrow and then we'll probably start incendiary after that. So super excited. And yeah, I'm just going to update my Goodreads right now. We're on Goodreads, so we'll do I finished this book, gave it four stars, and there we go. It is done. It is official. So at least the Latinx book bingo readathon is going a little bit better than it did last year. Last year I didn't read any of the books that I had on my TBR. I ended up reading <laughs> last year I ended up rereading the entire selection series. <laughs> which was not part of my deal <laughs> so that was really bad but this year has clearly been much better because I've already actually the two books that I finished already this year for the Latinx book bingo readathon were not on my TBR like I didn't even put this in my video because I didn't have it yet so, <laughs> and I definitely didn't add dark and deepest red to my TBR because I didn't even know I was gonna read it but here we are <laughs> But yeah, I really liked it. It was so cute. So cute. I definitely cried at the end though. Like not at the end, but like, I can't give spoilers, but I did cry. Okay, so that is it for the vlog. Sorry about kind of like the abrupt ending, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog.